Greenhouse Gas Emission Reporting What is Carbon Equivalence? What is the new rule all about? Under the Greenhouse Gas Rule, suppliers of fossil fuels or industrial greenhouse gases, manufacturers of vehicles and engines, and facilities that emit 25,000 metric tons or more per year of greenhouse gases are required to submit annual reports to the EPA. The gases covered by the rule are carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, hydrofluorocarbons, perfluorocarbons, sulfur hexafluoride, and other fluorinated gases including nitrogen trifluoride and hydrofluorinated ethers. What is carbon equivalence and global warming potential? Not all greenhouse gases are equal. Therefore, the global warming potential is a metric used to compare emissions among different greenhouse gases. The global warming potential of carbon dioxide is 1, and the global warming potential of other greenhouse gases are expressed relative to carbon dioxide. For example, methane has a global warming potential of 21. Each metric ton of methane emissions would have 21 times as much impact on global warming as a metric ton of carbon dioxide. As a result, carbon dioxide equivalence is a function of the mass emissions times the global warming potential. For more information regarding the final rule for greenhouse gas emissions signed by the EPA September 22nd in 2009, and is in effect as of January 1st, 2010. Copy this URL address into your internet browser, scroll down the page, and view the free video information prepared by ERA Environmental Consultants. Learn if you are affected by the new ruling. What gases are covered under the new ruling? What is carbon equivalence? Who is affected by the rule? There are three groups. Are you in one of them? What is cap and trade? What does it take to participate in the cap and trade process? and how to calculate your carbon footprint. Be informed of the new greenhouse gas ruling. View the information video today.